Welcome back, I'm Sean, and today we're checking out an earbuds that is super capable, has audio file capabilities and a price that most people would gladly pay for its performance, so let's check it out. So the Moondrop Golden Ages today was sent over to me by Moondrop for a review but this is not a sponsored post and my review will be based on my honest and unbiased opinion. And if you're new here, please consider subscribing and ring the notification bell so you won't miss any future tech reviews. So the Golden Age comes in at a price of 80 US dollars or about 379 Malaysia Ringgit and it comes with crazy impressive specs and features, especially that planar magnetic driver and just like the Moondrop Space Travel, Moondrop is giving you maximum performance at maximum value. So if you're interested in buying one, do check out my links in the description below. So design of the Golden Ages is very typical to Moondrop's design language and what we have here is a very standard TWS upright case with many cool design features on it. So at the top here, you will see the words saying True Wi-Fi ANC TWS Moondrop Golden Ages 1979 And although it says Wi-Fi here, there isn't any Wi-Fi capability in this earbud so do take note of that And at the front here, you're gonna see a nice cassette branding there And I think many of the kids nowadays wouldn't really know what this is and what that arrow actually stands for right up there so I'll leave that to you guys to figure out. And here it also says Ultra Linear Acoustic 13mm Circular Dual Suspension Planner Driver, uh, which is what these earbuds have inside, which is cool. At the back here, you're gonna get a pair button, very obviously labeled so you can put these earbuds into pairing mode, or you can also press it to check the battery level of the case. And at the bottom of the case is also a Type-C charging port to charge up the earbuds. So the lid of the case here opens up nice and firm and also stays in place for you to access your earbuds inside. And inside you're gonna get your typical AirPods Pro style earbuds uh, with some nice design here going on, mimicking a nice frequency selector in the old time radios. You also get a lot of orange accents here and there which very nicely complementing the silver earbuds. Also, with every Moondrop product, you're going to get a silicone case here, but not just any silicone case, one with a lot of orange accents around it as well uh, to further enhance the look of your case uh, when you use them. And I really think that this case looks really nice with the orange accents around. So in terms of the battery life, I think these earbuds could do better and it's the one aspect of these earbuds that could use some improvement. On paper, you're going to get one battery life rating which is 6 hours and 12 hours with the case giving you a total of 18 hours of use and this is without ANC running only the AAC codec. So if you run this with the LDAC codec, it should drain about 30% faster so an estimated playtime of about 4 hours without ANC but with LDAC. Uh, depending on the volume that you play of course. And finally, if you turn on ANC and then give it another 30% reduction, you're going to see about 2 to 2.5 two hours if you run this with ANC, with LDAC. So battery life wise, I think this is where the Golden Ages goes back to the Golden Ages. So volume wise, you're getting good performance here and I can get to a comfortable listening volume at about 30% volume. For me, at about 75% volume, this earbud sounds loud enough and of course anything above that is too loud for me. And features here is also extremely impressive where you get a Bluetooth 5.3 chipset that supports the LDAC Hi-Res Audio Codec, AAC, SBC as well as LC3 Codec. So Moondrop sticks to their tradition of delivering IEM level quality audio in a typical Bluetooth offering which is pretty impressive. And if you use these earbuds, to listen to your high-res audio files, it sounds extremely enjoyable. So we'll talk about that later on. Well, also in the typical fashion of Moondrop, there isn't any IP rating on these earbuds and they are also not designed for that purpose, so no specific rating is offered. But I think if you really just want to sweat with it, use it in a gym for instance, it should be fine. So the earbuds this time comes with a very unique 13mm planar magnetic driver which is pretty rare in the case of TWS earbuds, more in the realm of big audiophile grade earbuds or headphones that we've checked out previously. Uh, but we're slowly seeing this creep into the TWS space and this is one of the very few earbuds that have a planar magnetic driver. And with some audiophile figures here, uh, just for the few nerds just like me, uh, Moondrop raised these earbuds to have a THD or total 
harmonic distortion of about less than 0.05%, which is honestly nothing to shout about in the realm of audio file grade equipments uh, that we test here in our studios, but at least this is rated to give you really good distortion free audio, which most earbuds out there is not looking to even rate it. The earbuds also have a seamless left and right playback, uh, so you can use either side of the earbuds out of the case with no problem. And finally, there is also no multi point connectivity with these earbuds, so similar to the Moondrop Space Travels, you're also going to get a really cute anime voice as the prompt tones of these earbuds. So the Golden Ages here has a lot of things that goes back to the Golden Ages and for one it uses the Moondrop Link 2 app and getting the Moondrop Link 2 app is not the most straightforward thing to do. For starters, you don't have this app supported on iOS so you need an Android phone. You also can't download this over the Play Store natively so you need to go to Moondrop's website to download an APK file, install it, then only you get access to the app. However, inside you do get a pretty high quality looking app and for starters, you get that nice Golden Ages earbuds case on your homepage and the first page itself, you get to remap your earbuds control. Very comprehensive and there's a lot that you can customize here. Uh, next tab allows you to customize the EQ settings, which in this case, you get three different EQs, uh, the reference EQ, monitor EQ, as well as another base head EQ. So third screen allows you to toggle between the ANC modes and also to adjust the toggle when you tap on your earbuds. Uh, so if you don't want ANC off, and you just want to toggle between transparency as well as ANC on, you can do that. And finally, on the OTA tab, which also means over the air, it lets you download the latest firmware over the air onto your earbuds. So that's all the features you get with the Moondrop Link 2.0 app. So the ANC performance of the Golden Ages is surprisingly good and after testing so many earbuds and headphones with the same set of parameters, I must say that the Golden Ages is one that performs quite well. Starting with the road noise test, without music playing, the earbuds manages to reduce noise level up to about 60% and with the background noise actually blaring away at the back, this is actually pretty good performance. And I went on to play some simple Taylor Swift music at about 30% volume and I literally cannot hear anything coming through already, literally almost 99% blocked off. So this works especially well with the cafe noise test, surprisingly, where I get the same experience if, where if you have nothing playing, you, you still hear a little bit of the environment, but once you have something playing softly, everything just goes away. So next is the airplane cabin noise test, where I find it did a tad bit not as good as the road noise test, and this is more that I can feel the noise coming through more than I can hear the noise coming through. So I gave this a slightly lower score for the airplane cabin noise test. So transparency mode here is extra amplified, where it boosts a lot of the mids and highs through, so this earbuds does give you some superhuman feeling. And the only area where I think needs improvement is the wind noise algorithm, because just with light breeze, even from my aircon or my my fan, I can already hear it buffering. So overall, I'm very impressed with the Golden Ages in terms of the ANC performance and I give it a rating of 8.6 out of 10. So to test this earbuds, I'll be testing it with my iPhone using the AAC codec, running Apple Music in Apple lossless file format, and also using the Hybeat R32 to test it with some of my high-res audio file music on the LDAC codec. So starting with high-res file formats in the LDAC codec, I, and although the sound quality here is top-notch, I noticed that I'm itching to reach for a DAC to transform the sound quality even more. Unfortunately, I don't have any DAC to transform wireless audio or to adjust the EQ, so that's quite sad over there. Uh, what you get here is a very clean, high-resolution sound signature. Uh, the most prominent feature here would be the mid-vocals, where it sounds really forward making songs with vocals really stand out and you can hear it really being the most forward sound signature. Highs is decent, crisp, clear, but it's definitely tuned a step back as compared to the mids and you can hear that quite clearly in music. So bass here is typically flatter to give you more resolution to shine through your music, especially in the LDAC codec, uh, but it still has a small touch of bass to give you a very all-rounded sound signature. But if you want a more dynamic sound signature, ditch the LDAC codec, uh, your high-res files, and hop on to your other devices. And for me, my iPhone with AAC running Apple lossless files, uh, you can you get somewhat similar sound signature with some clear differences here. And the earbuds here definitely comes alive with this combination. And I am surprised with the performance that this planner driver can deliver. Uh, on a sub bass level, these earbuds can drive the lowest of lows, even the deepest rumbles in doing it right that most earbuds fail. These earbuds manages to drive those frequencies with no problem. So mid bass here is not as full, a tad bit flat, but it's still there and you can still hear it. 
So similar to the high-res performance, you get very prominent mids, but high tier sounds slightly more metallic in this combo, and I oddly can hear more sparkles. So what I described here is the true performance of any high-res audio earbuds or headphones. I think many assume that high-res audio is something that you know, will give you instantly uh, good sound quality. In a way, yes, it's a more high resolution, but many factors goes into it as well. Uh, but again, high res also gives you the most dynamic range in your audio, so the flatter, the better. So you're not going to get the typical V-shaped TWS sound signature that you might expect. So that's something that you need to consider before venturing into the high res audio world. So this is a test to see if the Moondrop Golden Ages is a good earbuds for making phone calls. So this is between a relatively quiet environment, and this is the call quality that you can expect. So what I'm going to do now is to turn on a simulated background noise so you can hear a difference. So now there's a simulated background noise playing in the background, and this is a call call that you can expect with this earbuds. So what do you think of the call call? Then in the comment section down below. So if you tap four times on the left earbuds, you will go into game mode or music mode. And in game mode, this activates the 55 milliseconds latency performance. And in real life, you can see that it is not the fastest latency earbuds, but still good enough for PUBG gaming or watching movies and videos in my opinion. Uh, so let's take a look at the latency performance of these earbuds. So what do you think of these earbuds? Is it something that you would want to try? For me, you are getting a lot in these earbuds, solid high-res performance, plenty of codecs to play with, great sound, great ANC, a planar magnetic driver, and most importantly, a price that doesn't require you to sell a kidney. So my only problem here is the battery life, and I wish it had stronger battery life. So when I throw in LDAC and ANC, it's not going to suffer. So that is it for this review. If you find this video helpful, smash that thumbs up button, share this video everywhere. And if you haven't yet subscribed, do consider subscribing, and I'll see you in the next video.